Where the Women's World Cup is still ongoing, what's new on the table? Let's join Gab Ellison in the sports studio. Latest world sports. Football. FIFA Women's World Cup 2023. England scraped through to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup with a dramatic penalty shootout victory over Nigeria after surviving a grueling onslaught having gone down to 10 players. Despite the first penalty taker, Georgia Stanway, firing wide, Nigeria missed their next two efforts and the European champions secured their spot in the last eight when Chloe Kelly smashed in the winning kick. In an outburst of frustration, Lauren James stamped on Michelle Alozzi's back in the 87th minute after losing possession and was rightly shown a red card following a video assistant referee VAR review. England were giving an almighty scare but would face Colombia or Jamaica next. It was an excruciating watch for England supporters in Brisbane as England played 120 minutes on a knife's edge and were largely second best to Nigeria. James' petulance meant England had to navigate extra time with 10 players and Nigeria had their tails up following a sustained period of pressure prior to the Chelsea Stars sending off. The 11-time African champions executed their game plan to perfection, frustrating England, causing them problems on the break and winning almost every duel. They hit the crossbar in each half. Ashley Plumter's powerful drive ricocheting off the woodwork before Oche Nakano's header looped over goalkeeper Mary Arps and bounced off the top of the bar. Arps was kept busy throughout, needing to produce smart saves to deny Plumter at a near post in the first half and later keeping out Oche Nakano, who had an excellent performance. Serena Wigman's England side thought they had a penalty in the first half when Rachel Daly went down claiming a push by Rashidat Ajibade but it was overturned by VAR. Eventually, England stumbled to the end of normal time, lacking the fluidity they showed in abundance in impressive display against China and held on to seal the deal in a shootout. Only 24 hours earlier, back-to-back -back champions the USA were knocked out of the competition and England were forced to show resilience to overcome one of their most challenging matches of Wigman's tenor. Ranging Champions League draw Michael Beale's side to face PSV or Storm Graz. Rangers will face PSV Endavon or Storm Graz to reach the group stage of the Champions League if they progress from the third qualifying round against Avet. The ties will take place on 22nd stroke 23rd and 29th through 30th August. Rangers knocked the Dutch side out in qualifying last season and faced the Austrians in the group stage in 2000. Rangers faced the Swiss side at Ibrox on Wednesday then traveled to Switzerland on 15th August for the return. PSV faced Stromgras, who added former Motherwell right back Max Johnston to their squad this summer on Tuesday with a second game the following week. Johnston is the son of former Rangers winger Allen, who played in the Ibrox side 5 0 trashing of the Austrians in September 2000. Rangers stunned PSV to reach the Champions League group stage for the first time in more than a decade when Antonio Kolak's goal gave them a 3 0 aggregate victory last August. Mohamed Salah committed to Liverpool amid Saudi Arabia transfer link agent. Mohamed Salah is committed to Liverpool according to his agent amid speculation about the potential big money move to Saudi Arabia. Saudi newspaper Al Riyadir claims Al Itihad made an approach and offered a two-year contract worth £155 million to Salah on top of a £52 million transfer fee. Salah 31 signed a new three-year deal last summer which runs until June 2025. Mohamed remains committed to LFC, said Salah's agent Rami Abbas in a social media post. If we considered leaving LFC this year, we wouldn't have renewed the contract last summer. Midfielders Fabino and Jordan Henderson have already been sold to Al Itihad and Al Etifak, respectively, by Liverpool this summer, while Roberto Firmino made a switch to the Al Hali after the expiration of his contract at Anfield. Salah has scored 186 goals in 305 games since joining from Roma in 2017. The Egyptian has won the Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup, FIFA Club World Cup and UEFA Super Cup during his time at Anfield. He has also won or shared three Premier League Golden Boats and been named the PFA Player of the Year twice while with Jurgen Klopp side. The Saudi Pro League has lured some of football's biggest names since five-time Ballon d'Or winner Cristiano Ronaldo joined in January from Manchester United. Current Ballon d'Or winner Karim Benzema and Fabinho, plus former Chelsea midfielder Angelo Kante and ex-Celtic winger Jota have all joined Al Itihad, who are managed by former Tottenham and Wolves boss Nuno Espirito Santo. 
Meanwhile, the likes of Riyad Mahrez, Sergej Milikovic Zavic, Sadio Mani, Ruben Neves, and Alan Saint Maximin have also moved to Saudi Arabia. City manager Pep Guardiola has said the Saudi Pro League's financial power has changed the market for transfers and elite clubs need to be aware of what is happening. White Club has expressed concern about the transfer window closing late in the Gulf state. Rugby Union England walk-up squad Henry Slade and Alex Dombrat miss out, Joe Marchand and Tildan in. Henry Slade and Alex Dombrach are among the notable absentees from Steve Portwick's 33-man England squad for the Rugby World Cup in France. Joe Marchand is included, but there is no place for Exeter back Slade, 30, who played at the past two World Cups. Saracens hooker Theodan, 22, who made his debut in Saturday's warm-up loss to Wales, is selected, while Billy Vonipola is the second specialist number 8. England's first game is against Argentina in Marseille on 9th September. England squad Forwards Oli Chesham, Leicester, Dan Cole, Leicester, Tom Corey, Sale, Theo Dan, Saracens, Ben Earl, Saracens, Ellis Jenge, Bristol, Jamie George, Saracens, Maro Itoje, Saracens, Courtney Loes, Northampton, Lewis Ludlam, Northampton, Joe Marla, Heliquins, George Martin, Leicester, David Rebens, Tolan, Bevan Rod, Sale, Kyle Snickla, Bristol, Will Start, Bath, Billy Volipola, Saracens, Jack Walker, Harlequins, Jack Willis, Tolus, Bax, Henry Arundel, Racing 92, Danny Kerr, Harlequins, Elliot Daly, Saracens, Owen Farrell, Saracens, George Ford, Sale, Oli Lawrence, Bath, Max Marlins, Bristol, Joe Marchant, State Franchet, Marcus Smith, Harlequins, Freddie Stewart, Leicester, Manutulagi, Sale, Jack Van Portvelet, Leicester, Anthony Watson, Unattached, Ben Youngs, Leicester, Gab Ellison reporting from Daunted, ABC Amber News.